for Eleanor, eventually. Your expressions are intrinsic constitutions of audacity unleashed on my pursuit of some sentimental bounty on your non-committal head, declared by no one in particular but known to every suitor that has sampled your munificent platter of emotional poker hands. I hesitate to say all in to any one expression, mindful of my seasoned replication of your spectral animation in its origin-defying definitions, able to be translated for the outsider's shore of settled dispositions. Conundrums of identity develop in a mystery of disembodied origins when outsiders are anointed with the role of a majority. You are an artist that has never formulated any semblance of a benefaction to the senses. The art you formulate comprises a museum strictly limited to riddled wanderings of a cerebrum, like a photographic memory afflicted with amnesia. I forget to recall every circumstantial nuance in an aberration of bewilderment akin to when I tried to read The Birth of Tragedy at age 16. As with you, I'll likely not return to it, I tell myself, as it calls out to me from my inflated shelf incessantly. But should I find a jar of faces by a door, I may be yet inclined to go on an expressive bounty hunting once more.